All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here with Survival Living. Got to do some uh, repairs in the garden today. Um, we had that bad storm come through and it knocked down the garden. Um, when it did that, all the taller plants, the beans and the corn, with them bending over, it loosened up the soil and the mounds. And now when I water the garden, the uh, wind blows and everything just hits the ground again. Luckily, the root system is not tore up. It's just all the all the soil around it is all loose now. So now everything keeps getting knocked down. So today I'm fixing to run some stakes, run some lines, hoping to keep everything at least going, you know, straight up and not falling over or falling back all the time. It's just. Every couple hours I gotta come out here and check it because it's just getting tore up. And I don't want to lose this crop that we got out here because everything's growing very well. So anyway, let's go ahead out there and start checking that out. what we're trying to do I'm trying to figure out some way the wind is just so bad here I mean it's just picking up worse and worse ever since that hurricane came through tore down so much tree coverage it's just I mean yeah you see some trees here not even close to what they used to be so now it's just hitting us hard now many of y'all know we're gonna be going to Wyoming in Wyoming we'll be running greenhouses um, there won't be much open land growth as far as vegetables and stuff now, i do apologize for uh having to retreat back to the truck um i've been having some issues with my knee shoulders feeling better it really is that's what um i tweaked it really bad on that iron working job i was on before i took that amusement park job it's healed up really good i mean I still have issues with it, but it doesn't bother me that bad. My uh, my knee, however, it feels about the same as it did before I had surgery. It feels like um, you take a tennis ball, put it behind the knee, and then you try to bend your knee onto the tennis ball. That's what it feels like. It feels like something's behind my knee trying to shove its way through the actual joint uh, I believe it's inflammation I believe it's just all that swelling in there so I'm rocking the knee brace again I didn't want to but I kinda have to it's just one of those things you know I can't blame it on old age I'm 41 now 41 I blame it on not taking good care of myself, getting broke up on job sites. It is what it is. Anyway, guys, I got to work some more on the garden. I just wanted to show you what we have going on in the garden. The wind is just so bad here; it's just it's tearing up my plants. All right, it's breaking them loose from the ground, put them on the ground. I mean, there's the wind blowing again, right there. 
So yeah, it's just never ending. I'm not uh, disheartened or anything like that. I'm, I'm frustrated. We, get, we can get frustrated from time to time. You know, it's human nature. Everything's grown very well in the garden. Um, after thorough investigation on the cucumber slash squash plants, looks like two of the plants are cucumbers. Uh, the other three are squash. I can tell by the flower blooms. The squash obviously has a much larger flower bloom than the uh, cucumber. And the cucumber plants, which I think are cucumbers, they have little reachers out there, little fillers trying to reach around, trying to grab hold of something. The squash plant don't. So, I believe we have a combination of the two there. So some somewhere in between there, it all got mislabeled. But, uh, looks like we have two cucumber plants right now. Three of the squash, but now I've got six or, I don't know, I think i got eight squash actually planted. i got about six zucchini in the ground right now. They're doing very well. Cantaloupe's starting to bloom, so that's pretty good. I was actually expecting a little bit later bloom, because right now it's still a small plant. We'll see what happens with it. Anyway guys, y'all take care. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I've got to get back to work out there in the garden, run some more string, stake everything down. I'm hoping that with that um, Dollar Tree fiber string, whatever you want to call it, it looks like burlap, I'm hoping that that will not affect uh, plant growth any. It won't harm the plant because it is a plant material. I'm hoping it will be okay to use. Um, I'm just trying some ideas. I, I don't have the materials to cage up everything. I mean, I've tried staking each plant down, but the ground retains so much water now since that storm, and the wind has not let up, so it just keeps on blowing on it, keeps pushing on it. So, yeah. You guys take care. Oh, <laughs> oh,